Hey everyone, I hope you're having a wonderful day today. I wanted to sit down and share some of my footage from my recent trip to Rock Island State Park. I talked about this park in my recent video, Top 3 Tennessee State Parks, so go ahead and check that video out if you haven't already. You can watch that one first and come back to this video and watch this one after. I had such a great afternoon exploring the park and I will definitely be back for future visits. If you don't already know who I am, my name is Brenna. I'm a realtor with Simply Home in the Middle Tennessee area. I post videos every Tuesday on this channel, so go ahead and subscribe. Without further ado, here is Rock Island State Park. We left Murfreesboro around 11 a.m. and drove straight to the park, which is about an hour away. As you can see, there are several different routes that you can take to get to the park from Murfreesboro, but we chose the scenic route that takes you through Woodbury and McMinnville. Once we arrived, we parked our car in this gravel parking lot and headed to the trailhead. Now, when we approached the sign and it said, extremely strenuous hike, we were expecting something completely different from what we got. The hike down was super easy and we were down to the falls in no time. I did notice was that there were signs that were posted that said you cannot swim at the falls and that is because there's such a strong current around it. After we stopped taking so many videos and pictures of the Twin Falls, we moved on to some other spots in the park. We eventually hiked a few miles out and set up our hammocks around this beautiful swimming hole. While we were in our hammocks, we were able to relax after a big hike, eat our lunch, and just listen to the beautiful water noises and wildlife. I highly recommend that you check out Rock Island State Park sometime. It was a wonderful experience. Now here are a few things to know before you visit the park. One is that there are no public restrooms in that parking lot that I showed you earlier. And another thing is that this park is a very well-known park and has many visitors all throughout the year. You may have to wait your turn to get a picture of the beautiful falls, but it's absolutely worth it. And the last thing that you should know before you visit Rock Island State Park is it's near one of TVA's seven dams, the Great Falls. This means that the TVA can control the water levels and it may rise unexpectedly at times, but you'll hear an alarm before they raise the water levels. Well, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed some of the footage from the Twin Falls and I hope you get the chance to go and visit it yourself. It is truly an amazing experience. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like to see my experience backpacking at Frozen Head State Park, then watch that video next. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time.